All right, this is day two of my masonry bee removal job. Yesterday I came in and knocked out this section. The bees are <clears throat> coming in at this port down here. And they were coming in. And so I assumed that they had made their hive right in this area, close to the entrance, but I was wrong. They are actually going all the way up this conduit here. You can kind of see where they chewed the insulation. They're going all the way up this conduit up to the top right there. And if I can get a good view of it here, you can actually see them up in there. But it's kind of a shot in the dark <clears throat> as to if I got it in the right location. I guess really if I, uh, if I had another chance to do this job, I'd bring a measuring tape, tape and stick it up behind that OSB and try to bump some of that comb to see how far up it was. That way I could measure how far up the wall I wanted to cut another hole. But I did not bring a measuring tape, so I just gave it my best guess. I have all my frames ready for the wax cutout. These rubber bands are to hold the wax in place. Once I put it on that frame, I'll just move those rubber bands over and it'll hold those uh, free, free hanging combs in place while the bees reattach them to my wooden frames. And then I'll take those frames and put them inside my makeshift bee vacuum, which is made out of a styrofoam cooler. Unfortunately, I also forgot the hose for my bee vacuum, so I am just going to do the best I can with <clears throat> my bee brush and my hive tool and my gloves, and uh, we'll just go from there. All right, and here's the big reveal. There we go. And it looks like I overshot. They go down a little lower than I expected, but that's okay. We'll make good with uh, we'll make do with this hole right here. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way this removal is turning out. I was only able to get the top part of where access to where the top part of the cones were mounted, and what ended up happening is I've got this sawzall blade that I use instead of my hive tool. And I was able to cut its attachments, and I've been able to pull out whole tongues of comb like this one. So I won't have to cut down the rest of the brick. I can just pull out the combs, and hopefully I'll get the queen here in a minute. So, so far so good. I'm happy. Okay, the job's done. Got all the frames put back in the hive, and now I'm putting the hive up where the original home used to be. So that way, hopefully, they'll be attracted by the smell into my cooler. I did not find the queen. So, here's to hoping that she'll go into the box on her own. It's slightly unlikely, but it has happened before, so we'll see. I'll come back this evening and collect them, and that's when uh, the proof will be in the pudding, I guess.